Right then, welcome back to the channel. We've got a conundrum. I've just been out with the pickup and the car transporter and we've recovered a Nissan Duke uh, family member's car and they said it's just stopped working. It's It won't start. It's, it's had it. I need a new one. All the usual things. Uh, so I've done a bit of, I've recovered it back to uh, the workshop and we've got it on the lift. Now, from the word go, I thought I knew what was wrong with this. Plug the scanner in, no fault codes, nothing like that. And eventually it cranks and cranks and cranks and won't start. So, but then it does start and it sounds like it's knocking and banging and pinking and all sorts of stuff. So straight from the word go, I diagnosed it as they've put petrol in it and it's a diesel engine. Um, but they've everybody swore blind they haven't, as they would, covering their own tracks. So anyway, I've recovered it to the workshop and my suspicions are true. I've just took the fuel pipe off the back of the pump, put some in a dish and it stinks of petrol. It's a 50-50 mix. The tank is brimming full. They've filled it right to the top. Um, and how they managed to get home in it, I do not know, but they did. So anyway, so I'm going to show you now how to tell the difference. So I've got this uh, container. I've disconnected that pipe there off the uh, fuel inlet. So I'll put that in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump the primer there and just get a little bit of fuel in. There we go. Should start pumping some fuel in in a minute. There we go. Now this is coming straight from the tank via the primer. Okay. So, yeah, we've got a bit in there. So that... That smells like petrol. Right, we're going to do a controlled experiment now. Uh, I've got some stuff ready. I've made two, two brown paper touch lights. We're going to light that with the blow lamp. And then we can just throw that into the fuel mixture and see whether it ignites or whether it doesn't or not. Don't try this at home. This is a controlled experiment and it's under controlled circumstances. You don't want to be doing this at home. I'm an idiot. You're not. Don't do it. Now that's just burnt itself out. So just to be sure, we can repeat that same experiment again. A bit more fuel on the floor. Keep your eye on it. Light the touch paper. Okay. And there we go. And when that's evaporated the petrol, you just get the diesel left behind because that won't ignite and I'll prove that to you now next so there we go the last little bits just petering out now so I can stand on that really put that out that's safe now we're gonna get a little cap full of diesel oil and I'll repeat the same experiment and you will see the difference so there we go that's got diesel in and we've chucked a naked touch light into that and nothing happens. Look, you can, you can just, just will not ignite, not like the petrol. Because diesel needs to be compressed to, uh, to ignite under compression. Whereas petrol and diesel mix, that uh, needs a spark to ignite it. So we'll put that out the old uh, safety boots that's all done now and that's how I knew that this engine this car had got a 50-50 uh, petrol and diesel mix because of how it was running really poorly and it was knocking really loud we checked the dipstick that smelt of petrol we undid the petrol cap that smelt of petrol and uh, the owner has filled the tank right to the top with petrol 
So uh, that's how you diagnose it, boys and girls, when your scanner won't bring any codes up and the car is so poorly it won't run. And also, there was a lot of smoke coming out the back end. Really sulfury smoke, like a smell of sulfur. So um, that's another way of telling. So I hope that video has been of use to you. If it has, give us a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, just a quick one. Just what we get up to in the afternoons. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my channel. And uh, hope that's been of help to you. We've, uh, we've diagnosed a problem. Now we've got to get the car up in the air, drain the tank, change all the filters, clean it all out, bleed it through, change the oil, and hopefully it might work again. That's tomorrow's job. We'll see you soon.